Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. So we're still looking at uh, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 7 and 8, but 7 we'll be focusing on, uh, which says, do not be wise in your own eyes, you know. And so just preparing this morning, you know, that just reminds me of Proverbs, Romans chapter 12, verse 3. You know, Romans chapter 12, verse 3, after Paul are talking about that we should offer ourselves a, a living sacrifice, we should be transformed by the renewing of our mind. He now talks about the way we think about ourselves. He says, for I say through the grace given to me, to everyone who is among you, not to think of himself or herself more highly than he ought to think but to think soberly as God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. You know, I'd written about this a while ago, you know, and what Paul was just saying is that we should be accurate in our thinking. In a sense, it kind of parallels Proverbs 3, 7, which says we should not think of, of us, um, we should not think, uh, I know Proverbs 3, 7 says, it says we should not, be wise in our own eyes. You know, Romans 12, 3, Paul is saying that we should not think more highly of ourselves as we ought to. He's not saying that we should not have a good thought of ourselves. It just is that our thought of ourselves should be moderated by, by uh, our God has given us faith, uh, by our true strength in God, by the grace that God has given to us. You know, just saying that we should be brutally honest with ourselves, you know, as we think of ourselves, should be accurate in our thinking. We should not expose of ourselves to areas where we don't have grace in, you know. And that still goes back with uh, the Lord's Prayer. It says, lead us, well, the real rendition says, lead us not into temptation, you know but deliver us from evil. It's just saying in our walk, God deliver us from evil. One of the ways God delivers us from evil is not to expose us to things that are beyond the strength that we have, you know? And that's what uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, 13 says. It says, there's no trouble that has come to you except that which is common to man, that which, you know, is, is a human problem. You know, and the Bible says that God will not expose us to that which is beyond us. It gives us opportunity to be able to stand in the place of the weight of life. That's what God does. But we ourselves can expose ourselves, you know, to things that are beyond us. If we walk under grace, we'll never come to a place that will be exposed to things that are beyond us. But when we come away from grace and begin to, you know, do things in our own strength, do things in our own uh, seeming understanding, do things out of a place of pride, do things uh, thinking more highly of ourselves than we ought to, thinking that we are wise in our own eyes. We begin to expose ourselves to things and places that might be bigger than the faith and strength we have at that point in time, right? You know, so if we live to God, God will never bring us to a place that we 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 have we face things that are beyond the strength that He has given us. You know, mm -hmm. God will never do that, but we can ourselves expose ourselves to those type of situations, and we do that in a place of pride, in a place of anxiety, also because we are too scared. Oh, am I missing? If I don't do that, am I do this? Oh, what will happen? You know, well, worry puts us into trouble. Trouble, worry never takes us, protects us from trouble. Trouble, worry makes us go into things that we should not go to because we think we are missing. Mm -hmm. We think that if we don't do it now, oh, yeah, we might not get it again. Oh, if I don't do it now, the opportunity might not come again. You know, so we compromise. You know, we 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 lower our standard because we are scared. You know that ah, if I don't do it now, if I don't do it now, you know we 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 think that our life is controlled by the things we do or not do. You know, we're not looking at the grace of God. You know, we're not looking at providence. You know, then we might expose ourselves to things we should not expose ourselves to. Uh, but let's go ahead and pray. We'll, we'll continue after we pray. Uh, 
Well, thanks for praying, man. As we used to share, we're looking at Proverbs chapter 3, verse 7, you know. Um, first of all, we looked at Romans 12, 3, you know. The other thing that comes to mind is the place of humility. It says, do not be wise in your own eyes. That's be humble. The things that will make us not wise in, in uh, to, that will make us wise in our own eyes is preaching us pride when our heart is lifted up, you know. Bible talked about Joshua when uh, I mean Jacob that when Jacob had uh, had uh, it's a word there but I'm going to paraphrase it. it says when he has grown big he kicked you know we should never come to a place where we will will feel we throw away the things that brought us to where we are you know we should never despise the things that uh, cost us to grow. You know, we should never feel that we're bigger than God. We're bigger than the principles that has brought us this far. You know, because God has blessed us. You know, the blessings in our life should never make us feel like we have arrived. We now know things better than things that has brought us to where we find ourselves today. You know, and it's called pride. It's called pride. You know, we need to always be humble in our heart. Never take things for granted. Never things that, you know, same thing, uh, First Corinthians uh, 10, 13 says, it says that, uh, you know, he that think at his stands, let him take it lest he falls. Let's not get to a place where we throw caution away. You know, we always have an enemy in this life. There's always an enemy. The Bible says that will be sober, be vigilant. Be sober, be vigilant because you have an enemy looking for how to pull you down. The moment we think we have arrived, when we think that we have everything sorted out, that's the time that we begin to uh, bring our guards down, you know, begin to break the edge in our life. And the Bible says, see, that breaks the edge. The serpent will bite, you know. So we need to never lose our guide, never come to a place where we take life for granted, think that we have arrived, that we can never fall that things will not become permanent, you know, easy for us. You know, when things are difficult, we, we, we believe that things will not be permanent because we're looking for good. But when things are okay in our life, we seem to believe that it will be permanent, you know, and we're losing our guard, you know. When we least expect it, you know, the enemy slides us and, and we fall, you know. But the Bible says, do not be wise in your eyes, right? Easy to be not to be wise in our eyes when things are not going our way, when we are poor, when we are forsaken, when we are weak, you know. But when we seemingly have strength, when when God has blessed us, we think that it's all by our own strength. Now we know how to do it. We know how to do it. We don't need anybody's counsel. We don't need anybody's advice. It's saying, let's humble ourselves, you know. Let's remember that we're but human. We're limited. We need God. We need help. You know, can do with God to help us. We'll never be get to a point where we we cannot do without God. Mm. We we'll never get to the point where we can live this life in our own strength. Mm. We we'll just need God in all the days of our life till till our dying day. You know, you know. So we need to humble ourselves. I believe it's a mm. it's a call to humility. You know, and that's what the fear of the Lord does for us. You know, when when we humble ourselves. God who depart evil because we know evil weakens us, right? Evil, evil takes away our guide, evil exposes us. You know, anyone that's ever been in a place of depression understands the 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 the, the force of evil, you know, the 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 wickedness of evil, you know, the place where you feel all alone, all <laughs> also, you know, naked, you know. Then mm. time we have strength is the time to prepare for the day of war. And when we mm. have strength, we begin to guard our strength, help ourselves for mm. evil so that it doesn't so we don't go back to a place of depression. We you know mm. we can walk on our fences, you know, and, and just remind ourselves that we can't do this alone. We need God, you know, yeah. we need we need help. Mm. We need Never take that for granted. We never mm. take that for granted. You know, the same God mm. that has us this far is the one that will take us all. Mm. 
We, we need his guidance. We need his help. We're not sufficient in ourselves. Our sufficiency, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, he would help us. Stay. Mm -hmm. Amen. Go ahead, man. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's the word that you mentioned that really catch me on awareness. And I believe we all know we are not sufficient of anything, but we have the sufficient God. He's sufficient in all things. Man. So when you know that he is the only sufficient God, who else can we run to? Mm -hmm. <laughs> says, and I will run to him. Amen. But his, his words are true. Amen. So just like we say, in humility, it shouldn't be by power or by might, but through his grace. Mm. When we ask, we run the race before we see his face. Mm. The song that says, let me live in the glory of your praise. Amen. Just like his eyes are on the sparrows. Mm -hmm. It, it takes us far from the end of the world to the depth of his soul. So let his mercy and grace be found in us. I pray as he leads us on, we will subject our life to his leading mm. all through. He's ready to lead us on. Mm. We on our own need to remember to be subjecting ourselves to his leading. Because to move away from normal is not far away. It's not far at all. I was just thinking about this yesterday. I said, to enter into abnormal is not far. Mm -hmm. If you're driving, for you to continue to drive well, you need to be consciously driving. Absolutely. And if you're not careful, if you, are, you can easily be absent-minded and you drift from normal to become Absolutely. abnormal. Absolutely. It goes in life. Absolutely. So it's the grace, it's grace that Absolutely. we need. And Absolutely. the currency that we should be spending is grace. Amen. 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 It's, it's, that's important. That's true. You know, that's what the Bible says. Let take heed lest you fall. Mm. Take heed lest you fall. It's just by thought away. Sin is just by thought away. Mm. <laughs> it's up to I'll give you to that thought. That's all. And so just give it to that thought, and before you know it, you say, oh devil, devil, devil. No, mm. that thought. you start celebrating devil. Yes, yes. It's just a, it's just a thought away, you know. So the Bible says we should give it less we fall, take it less we fall, because doesn't it, sin is not that far away. It, mm. All you have to do is that they thought, oh God would not, God will understand, mm. oh I'm flesh. Oh, mm. uh, see, uh, fish and water must can get so. You know, he, he did not. Eve did not plan to disobey God when she did. She did not plan mm. it. Mm. Didn't say, "Oh, this day I'm going to eat that food. That food I'm going to eat it today." No, mm. no, no. Mm. Just allow that thought to wander. Mm. You know, she did not give heed. She allowed that thought to wander. That's all. Mm. When she woke up that day, she didn't plan to sin. Hmm. She did not take heed. She just gave it, just allowed a thought to wander away. God will have me see you. Hmm. Yeah. So, so, yeah. So that's why we just need to, the Bible says, be sober, be vigilant. Mm -hmm. Be sober, be vigilant. When you least expect, that's when the devil wants to get a hold of you. Mm. Oh, that's when someone from, they have not seen for a long time will call you. That's when, you know, you meet somebody who, who can simply solve what you're looking for, but you have to compromise, you know. Mm. He, he, sin is that the devil is watching because the devil is envious of us. He's looking mm. for how he can get us, you mm. know. That's why we want God to be with us, to lead us, mm. he, he leave us from evil. Mm. Mm. Right in the secret place of the Most High, mm. right as a place for us. We have to do our part in abiding. 
you know, mm-hmm. God's wings will cover us, will help us if we don't wander, if we abide, you mm-hmm. know. So our part is to abide, 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 you know, mm-hmm. take it, abide, stay under his wings, never think you are wiser than God, never think you are bigger than God, never think and you are sufficient of your own. You know, always be in need of his grace, always be in need of his mm-hmm. presence, always be in mm-hmm. need of his presence. You know, it's you know, his Bible says, "Blessed are those that are weak in spirit; those that always mm-hmm. that they are they are they are sufficient in themselves, but their sufficiency is in God. Blessed are them; they are the ones that God defends. God will not defend mm-hmm. something that is full of Himself. You know, God will only defend those who are full of Him. You know, and it will help us in Jesus' name. Amen." Amen. Have a great weekend, Ma. See you on Monday. By the grace of God. God bless you. you. Bye bye, Bye -bye, Ma.